Hey YouTube, I've got another unboxing today for you guys. It is the six layer pyramids that came out recently and I bought them directly from Timur. For those who don't know who Timur is, he's the one that designed the six layer pyraminxes. So I got them directly from the, from the designer himself, which is really cool. Now, let's see. He gave me these, uh, these uh, you know, hexagonal boxes that you can, uh, well, that you can put around the, those puzzles. Here they are, right there. You can actually fold them to make some sort of hexagonal box with a three-fold display inside them. And I just want to show you a detail. Um, he actually, well, I asked him to do this. He actually signed the, the boxes here. So you got one signature for every box. And now I want to show you the puzzles. Um, now I haven't played with them yet. I just unboxed the, the thing just to see what it was. And um, so I've got two of them right here. Uh, let me see if there's anything left. Yeah, just those two stands right there in the box. Uh, but that's not very important for this video. Now, let's see. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I, I also have signed, I will ask him to sign the, um, the stickers, the yellow stickers right here. So he signed one per puzzle. Uh, his signature is actually quite beautiful in my opinion. He has a great handwriting. Alright, so what you came here to see is the turning. So let's go. Now, it turns like a pyraminx, so, uh, sorry, like this one. That would be the pyraminx part of the puzzle, right? Where you have these edges behaving like pyraminx edges. Now, you've, al you've also got the, the deeper layer that acts like a jinx pyraminx. Now, this is the equivalent of a skew, which you can get right there. Um, let's see, let's bring it back to its original coloring scheme and you've also got so that was the the jinx pyramids that was the regular pyramids and then there are two more layers which are actually these tips right there which technically are trivial that would be uh well the you know those uh, I, I think someone made that it's a trivial pyramids and um and it only has tips that really are potentially completely useless and then there are those uh, which are even shallower, but they align perfectly with these. So on this puzzle in particular, they are not useless at all. So that's that's really cool. That means it's a full six-layered uh, pyramid, with obviously the the, the the external layer, which is completely useless. Those trivial tips that you can find on every pyramid. Now let's see if we can get some cool patterns with this. My first impressions for information. Uh, I think this puzzle is nice, straight out, of, straight out of the box. Uh, it could spin slightly better uh, in the sense that you see, like it's, uh, it locks up a, a little bit sometimes uh, because of this uh, sort of, um, you know, these, this looseness right there of the parts. Um, all right, so let's see. Now, if I do this, okay, it's not as pretty as I'd expected. <laughs> I was expecting some sort of a nicer pattern. Uh, this one's nice though. As you can see with uh, lines here and lines that cross it here. Um, I think this one is probably going to be quite hard to solve. I might make a solving video in the future. Uh, in the meantime, I really wanted to unbox this because I've been waiting for those for a while uh, since they just came out and I, I bought one straight away. I asked Timur if he could uh, send me two of them and they're amazing. Uh, the reason why I bought two is uh, that this way I'll, I'll have one for trading and one for myself. And uh, I'm always going to keep one in my collection. Uh, also, um, let's see if we can see the inner mechanism, although I might... No, you know what, I'll, I'll dedicate a video to the inner mechanism. Um, it, it might be more interesting. Um, but yeah, my first impressions are what I wanted to show in this video. Uh, I think it's still an amazing puzzle. It's um, well, it's it's like a six by six, so it's it's pretty crazy. It's the first time that someone's made something so big in this shape, and uh, I think the result is really great. And um, yeah, I would definitely recommend it for someone who likes collecting puzzles because it's it's truly amazing. Uh, it spins really well for something of this complexity, and um, and it's it's I think it's going to be really fun to play with. Plus, you can always improvise variants of uh, of this uh, puzzle. For example, you can use these tips here, and uh, and 
you know, use this um, layer here, and you have a completely different puzzle that can only be played with the top face and those trivial tips. You can do really whatever you want. It's like a 5x5, five five, how you, you know, you can solve it like a 3x3 three three if you want. Well, this is the same thing. You can solve it in multiple ways, and uh, that's something I really like with higher order puzzles that aren't cubic. You can have, like, multiple types of solving. You can try, uh, you know, turning this and that only, or uh, this, that, and those uh, faces. I don't know, you can always find variants. So yeah, it's, that's just uh, a thought uh, for you guys if you wanna try something new. If you own this and have already solved it, you can try new things. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I just wanted to show you this. I would recommend buying it if you like collecting. It's, it's really fun. So yeah, I'll see you in the next video.